morning. Separate the sorrow and collect up all the cream. It's another big day on the WGN Morning News at 9. Today, what's new at Disney's theme parks this Christmas season? Bruce Pecco is back, and he knows everything about the happiest place on Earth. Plus, Dean is cooking something perfect for Christmas or Hanukkah. Sweet and spicy cranberry meatballs. And Liz Taylor. We'll chat with the first ever authorized biographer of the Hollywood legend. Live from the WGN studios, this is the WGN Morning News at 9. Good morning, Mike. Good morning, you guys. Everybody's getting their houses ready for the holidays. In case you're looking for suggestions on decorating that bathroom, take a look at some of these. How about this? When's the last time you heard the words Santa and commode in the same sentence? Wow, <laughs> it's yeah. beautiful. It's the or you can go with this option right here. Go the old full Santa, wearing the outfit and all. We have the, uh, I'm not looking, but there I am. <laughs> Followed by the snowman toilet. All right. And the, yeah, and uh, if you're looking to get one, you can pick one up for $5.95 at your local retailer. Oh, there you go. Yeah. Nice. And the other snowman is kind of a little mischief. Makes it fun. It, it makes it all so yeah. much fun. <laughs> so much better. So there. <laughs> Thanks, Mike. All right, All Patrick, right. you're up. All right, number nine. 70 years ago this week, the Great Fog took over London. It was considered one of the deadliest environmental disasters in the history of the world. Uh, people struggled to breathe and can barely open their eyes. Uh, visibility was practically zero. Drivers had to abandon their vehicles. The city was shut down for several days as officials tried to figure out what was happening. Turns out a cold front had moved in. Yeah. Everyone turned on their, cold, uh, their coal stoves for warmth and something called an anti-cyclone formed over the city, which trapped the winds and mixed in with the fog and other pollutants. It led to changes in the city's standards and regulations and never happened again. Hmm. Oh, I think they touched on that in the first season of The Crown. Am I remembering that correctly? Oh, uh, you know what? I'll have to go back and just a deep dive. <laughs> I've yeah. seen all of the episodes. Yeah. Yes. But, yeah. Those early ones were really good. Anywho, number eight. Uh, I bet this would go over really well here in Chicago on the Japanese island city of Shimbara. They have hundreds of koi fish swimming right in the gutters. They made these drainage canals a while back, and the water is so clean. Uh, they decided back in 1978 to just put some fish in there. Going to need clean water to survive, so they would probably not do so well here. But isn't that a nice little fun thing? Look at that. You walk Lovely. down the street. Yeah, and fun. yeah. yeah. some fish Boy, right there fun. for you. Isn't We're that nice? We're going to put one of those uh, in our hallway. I bet they have one of those up in News Nation. Yeah, yeah they, they have a Yeah, one pond. of those up there. They, they have, have a sushi chairs. bar, yeah. everything. They just take the koi right from the pond, <laughs> right. and it's fresh sushi. Uh huh. Yeah. Mm. Uh, no, we're good with everything we got down yeah, here. We're, we're fine. Right. Wouldn't yeah, we're change fine. a thing. Yeah. <laughs> Number seven, single people are trying to invent their own version of Spotify wrapped for their dating apps. You've probably seen this all over social media. People sharing their most listened to songs from 2022. And people want the same kind of insight from their year in dating. For example, this year, you swiped on 27 guys named Henry, and nine of them were posing with their dogs. Oh. You swiped left 97 times. You swiped right 19 times. Information mm -hmm. like that doesn't seem possible to keep track of all the different apps, but maybe next year. Mm. One can dream. Yeah. All right, number six, Jack Nicholson grew up believing that his mother was his sister and that his grandmother was his mother. Oh, wow. It's a long story wow. and one that he believed for almost 40 years. Wow. Nicholson's mother, June, got pregnant in New Jersey in 1936 by a man who was married to another woman. She was 18. 
To keep up appearances for that time, Jack's grandmother raised Jack as her own, pretending June was his older sister. Wow, wow. June wanted to be in show business, so she moved away from Jersey when Jack was just four years old. Nicholson himself moved out west when he was 17. So fast forward to 1974 when the hit Chinatown is about to come out. Right. Uh, when Nicholson was in that, made him a big star. June had died by that time. His June was the mom. June was the actual mom. She yeah. had been died by that time. Okay. But a magazine did a feature on Jack Nicholson and was doing Doing some fat checking, and the researcher figured it all out and oh called boy. Jack Nicholson with the news. He was 37 years old, and he had just learned this. He had no idea ah, about all of this. Phone call. Huh. Uh, Jack said he was shaken, but he wasn't really traumatized because it was already a grown man. He asked the magazine <laughs> not to include it and doesn't talk much about it publicly. But wow, wonder if the grandma was still yeah. shaking at that time. Yeah. That's a comment I would have loved to. Yeah, it's complicated. Yeah. 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 Grandmother had died by that time. She was dead. Yeah, too. I just found it from oh, the. Oh man, poor guy. Our, our, our research sure. staff just Boy, got in my uh, ear. That's terrible. Yeah. Yeah. Um, number five, I found. Oh guys, I found the perfect team building game for us. <laughs> uh, it's called Find the Duck. All right. <laughs> Yep. Now, uh, it's usually reserved for Indonesian Independence Day. Yeah. But I'm thinking, <laughs> yeah, I'm thinking this it's the holidays. Awesome. It's in the hallway. But now, all you got to do is, you, and it's, you don't have to catch the duck. You just got to touch the duck. Oh, ah. Let's so see it. Just as if you can duck. be blindfolded and you can touch the duck, which is not a euphemism uh -oh. for anything. Uh -oh. It means actually uh -oh. touching a real live duck. Uh -oh. well, you someone's going to get it. So, uh -huh. Come on. This duck is a good hider. Yeah. The best. Boy, the crowd's not helping either. No, it needs a goose. Oh, that guy needs a goose right there. <laughs> wow. This is awesome. Oh, Why this are we doing this every fun. day here? Oh, my gosh. So close. Don't we have a Christmas party coming up or something? No, I don't think we have one. This we could do is instead. Yeah. It's not expensive. You probably... Just grab all the geese you, you, you can get a duck for 20 bucks. We've got a whole bunch of these Canadian ones out in the side yard. We're just oh, I'd like to do, I'd like to do more than touch one of those. Yeah. I can tell you that right now. That's a fun time. Good yeah. time. Yeah. That might be my next courtesy desk. <laughs> That's Good a, idea. See if we can just get one of those Canadian ones. You just have really to get like a like a blow-up pool and you yeah. put it right yeah. in there. Yeah. 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 See if our news director wants to I'm play sure. along. All right, number four, the cold girl makeup trend is all over the talker right now. Uh, the, the idea is to look like your cheeks are flushed or slightly mm. frosty. <laughs> uh, so you need to sweep a little pink blush across your cheeks and your nose and create that rosy look. And then you're going to add a touch of shimmer uh, to the inner corner of your eyes. Ah. And don't forget the glossy lip. Uh, the idea here is that you're trying to look like a snow queen, fresh mm -hmm. off the slopes, or yeah. like you've just come in from ice skating with your friends or like a cute little girl in the Hallmark Christmas movies after a sleigh ride and that is what we know here as the cold girl vibe. Wow. So right. cheeks and nose something. a little redder yeah, and some little, pop yeah. in the corner of your eyes. A little eyes. shimmer. Yeah. Uh, shimmer. Right. Shimmer there. All right. All righty. That or just stand outside in the cold weather for <laughs> a few minutes. Uh, yeah. Hour. Uh, number three Tom Cruise's coconut cake is getting a lot of attention right now. It's not his cake, but each year he orders a bunch of them from Doan's Bakery in Woodland Hills, California, and he sends them to his friends, and by friends, we mean celebrities like Miles Teller, Angela Bassett, Rosie O'Donnell. It's coconut bunk cake with chunks of white chocolate, cream cheese, and frosting, and covered with toasted coconut flakes. Nice. Costs 110 bucks, but good luck trying to order one. Right now, the earliest you'll get it is mid-January. You got it. 10 bucks for a cake? You know what? It's worth the wait for a good coconut cake. Yeah. I'll tell you, I love those Pepperidge Farms coconut cakes. Never had it. You ever had those? No. Ones? Like yeah, the dollars. square ones. Those are the ones we would yeah. save for when company came. Yeah. Over. You know, when it was just us, we'd get the memories. craft cake. Yeah, but yeah. if somebody important was farms. coming over, you'd, right. you'd bring out the Pepperidge Farms. Mm -hmm. nice. Ooh. Those those never had a I never had it. Oh, yeah. I had one. Yeah. Very yeah. hard to believe, yeah. right? That, that was, was too fancy. fancy. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. It was hey, good. on your 30th anniversary, we'll get you one yeah. here. Might be nice. Just saying. All right, number two. Somehow we show you or sometimes I should say we show you uplifting videos that renew your faith in humanity. This video from China is not one of those. <laughs> in fact, it's oh, really boy. a little depressing. Uh, I'm afraid oh. what oh. we're going to show. First off, the woman who was in the accident turns out to be uh, okay. But watch what all can, the bystanders do laugh. or don't do. Watch the bystanders what oh, they boy. do or do not do. Oh! Oh! oh. No. See, 
I was looking at the person in the red behind. Yeah. Look at this. Uh, right. Uh, no one uh, does anything. Everyone's on their phone right now. Oh. What if that guy doesn't Look get off it? Are you kidding? No, he's Come tired. On. He's had a long day. You don't know what's with The his reason they're is. not helping, though, they say, might be there's a case that dates back to 2006. A young adult stopped to help an injured old woman and ended up getting fined thousands of dollars. Huh. Since then, many Chinese are reluctant to help anyone in an accident. Yeah. You might not believe this, but in China, drivers sometimes intentionally will hit a pedestrian they have hit by accident or they will intentionally kill, kill them. Uh, yeah. someone yeah, yeah, yeah. they've hit by accident there's security video to back this up they call them double hit cases and the reason is the same money if you kill someone there's a fine and maybe a charge for burial if you injure someone the financial penalties call for the driver to pay for a lifetime of oh. care All right which can be millions. You so think it's, the government would have cleaned that one up a little bit then. So <laughs> it's cheaper to kill to someone. Murder, though, if you one would go to China. They do it differently over there. <laughs> wow. wow. Huh. Interesting. Yeah. Well, I I gotta say that was that was you that was depressing. It yeah. was. Yeah. It lives up to it. Number but one. But we're in America, so yeah. we don't have to be Let's depressed. Let's hope this uh, is we're better. We're gonna change some things now, Paul. Right. Um, that is about to change. Um, the mood a little bit. We'll okay. look now at more traffic videos from China. That'll make us laugh oh, because like there's this. a separate phenomena in China of many people who are scammers who pretend to be in traffic accidents in order to sue and take money from people wow. who help them oh, out. Oh my gosh, so it's complicated. Out. Like sometimes they just lie down in front <laughs> of the car. Oh yeah. Wow. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh. oh, yeah. Oh. oh, my goodness. Wait, these are like the NBA flowers. Yeah. Oh. See, in these instances, you should get to run them over. Yeah, yeah. I think. Yeah, 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 in these yeah. instances. And maybe get $100. Yeah. Look at this. Oh, my gosh. Wow. Here. Oh, and they uh, back in. Yeah. Oh, gosh. <laughs> wow, now that's oh. courageous. Wow. Well, I guess you have to drive with a camera on your car yeah. so you know you're not. Look at this. Oh, boy, you missed. You missed. That's kind of funny. Oh, boy. <laughs> <laughs> that's a flatter, uh, not a flattering angle. Wow. All right, there we go. That's the nine at nine. Yeah. All right. Woo. Well, that was kind of a fun little journey. Started with some sad.